you guys welcome to my channel and welcome to the scrap room flavors of the month kit lovely fun we've got going on today i'm gonna play with the freaky fest formula for um what month are we in april <laughs> oh dear uh for april and i'm gonna use the flavors of the month kit um, the Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Life in Bloom Collection. Yes. Gorgeous. So, I'll show off this kit here in just a second. But the Freaky Fest formula is a great way. It's my favorite thing. I actually have a whole nother series dedicated to it. It's called Tuesdays in the Attic. You should go check it out. Uh, me and Jen, um, who is Kay's mom here on YouTube and Instagram, she and I dug in the archives of the scrap room when they started the Freaky Fest formula way back in 2011. And we started using all of them. So every Tuesday we use an old one. We're working our way through. I think through this year we only get to like year 2016 or something like that. I can't remember for sure. But there's a lot of them. So I love it. I am enjoying it. It's my favorite way to just whip up a page with some random cuts. So you get the cuts of what is required for the challenge or the starting point. You don't necessarily have to call it a challenge if that freaks you out. Um, but you get the cuts and then you cut and then you arrange it however you want and make your page. So what I like to do is I just like to randomly cut first and then I figure out how many photos, what my photos should be in that. I'll have ideas of photos because this is very florally girly. So it's either going to be me, sisters, or my nieces more than likely, or something with my mom, something to that effect. Or if I have photos from something, I mean, I've got photos back from 2015. So I've got tons of photos. Um, but the Freak Fast formula is one eight and a half by three, one eight and a half by two, a six and a half by five and a six inch circle. So to me, that six and a half by five is saying it's a great mat. Um, so we'll see. That's probably what we'll end up doing. But alas, I will go through what is in this par portion of the kit. Flavors of the Month kit, you get four different collections, four little mini kits, basically, of each of those collections. All of them come with cardstock, pattern paper, and some embellishments. So I'm going to show you what comes in the Simple Stories one right now. First off, you always get two sheets of cardstock. So we get beautiful, just two sheets, black cardstock for this one, which is great. Lots of bright, florally, pale colors, but then pops of black, my favorite. I love a grounding black. Everyone's going to get these three papers. So you get, um, this one's called Beautiful Things. Oh my gosh. If that's not gorgeous. And the B side is a beautiful, like, look at even this corner. It's ready to be a background. It's gorgeous. Beautiful polka dot. This next one's called Happy Memories. I love the newspaper print and the kind of mixed media, very 49th and Market vibe they got going on here. Um, but it's their vintage line, and their vintage line always appeals to me. I love this camera. This would be great fussy cutout and used for something else. And then a beautiful smaller floral pattern. And last but not least, this is the three by four elements, which has this lovely stripe. Looks like a bunch of wrapping paper washi tape, uh, diagonal stripe. I love that. And then yes, the three by four elements, which are very cute. Ooh, these cute stamps. Those are cute. These could be fussy cut. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Love that. Yeah. All this very good stuff. Okay. So that is what you get for papers. Everyone will get that. This stuff's all going to vary a little bit. So everyone's going to get one chipboard frame from the collection. I got this one, but it's going to vary. Not everybody's going to get the same one. So I got this one giant one. So that's perfect. And then you're going to get some um, foam stickers. This is also going to vary, you know, after off the big foam sheet. She cuts it up, divides it up. That way you just have a little sampling and it's the perfect amount. And then you feel like you've gotten to play with the collection. And if you die and get more, you can always order more somewhere else. But you're like me and you want all the collections this is a great way because you get a little bit of everything and then you don't feel like you have these huge collections you have to use up this one's gorgeous so here's this i got the word beautiful a faux it's like a faux brad some foam hearts and a butterfly and then everybody's going to get a variation or variables of the mixtures and the bits and pieces and the journaling bits so the two like ephemera packs that uh simple stories always puts out i'll show you what i got we'll flip over onto the pink so you can see it better I got a purple butterfly. I got this beautiful leaf. I got a cute little bee. I got a blue flower. I got a pink butterfly. Another, oh, it's on the camera. Gorgeous. I like that. And this says one of a kind. I like that a lot. And then this says love this. So that's my little, that's my ephemera bits that I got. And those are going to vary per kit. 
Okay, so that's what I've got. So let me go. I'm going to start cutting up my papers and I will show you what I've cut and then I'm going to grab a photo and we'll start playing and ranging on the page and we'll see where we go from there. Okay, this is another case of I want to use all the papers um, situation. So I decided what I've done so far, I've, I've cut all my all of my cuts for the Freaky Fast formula. So I've got the two strips. These are all my goodies. I've got my circle, which I cut out of the reverse side of the pink because I really wanted to use the pink, but I really wanted some of the floral. And then I have, what's the, is this the reverse side? No, that's the cut apart, this one. I backed it with um, a chunk of this as well so that I've got my big circle and I put it all on black heart stock so I have something to support the giant hole I now have in my background and then this is the square I did it out of the diagonal paper and I cut it in half because I'm gonna layer it I'm gonna actually use uh, my frame I got and I'm gonna put this photo in the frame it's like just the right size so I'm going to the best way I like to adhere things like this that are like just the right size or either you put it on a mat that doesn't matter because no one's gonna see it or you use hair tape and just connect it like so you could use washi too ugly washi that you don't care about that would work too but this will double as adhesive for my frame it's gonna be a very layered up look which I love I love all the papers I love layering papers so that is a good look in my opinion and then we'll embellish and add all the other pretty things that are fun it's gonna have this paper kind of going that way this one going that way and my beautiful circle poking out maybe tighten it up just a little and then I was just gonna layer this behind just so there's a little bit more something along those lines and maybe sprinkle a few of these hearts in as well and then I'll use up almost all my embellishments this is kind of my title so I don't necessarily need to use the beautiful I could um, but I think I'm gonna save it for a different layout since I have enough paper for another one that I can but I think I'll use the butterfly and maybe some of the hearts or something and then I'm gonna dig in my stash and pull out ooh some I have some green enamel dots those would work really well I think we'll do that so that is what we're looking at let me glue this down do some finishing touches add some enamel dots and you guys will get some lovely close-ups so make sure you tune in to um, the scrap room youtube channel if you're not watching this from on there make sure you check out the facebook group and as always go check out the shop see the amazing flavors of the month kit this month um and see what all the design team has um inspire inspiration for you on the blog and we'll check you later bye